Hello, everybody. <laughs> I like the way I said that. Everybody. So as most of you know, I'm in the middle of getting the process of getting my license for the car because any of you who don't follow this channel or just stumbled across this video, I only have my license for the motorcycle. I do not have a license for the car as of yet. I am working on that. Now, I honestly thought I would have a little bit more content to give you guys when it came to the lessons, but I found that I don't because it's a lot more straightforward than I thought it was going to be. So, <laughs> due to that, I'm kind of putting the, a group of lessons together. My next lesson that I'm going out on, it is a night ride. So it's gonna be happening. There will still be sun, but it won't be as bright as it normally is when I go out for my rides. With that being said, so far what I have learned is, I learned that going in a straight line is similar to going in a straight line as a bike which is kind of obvious. The only difference is, is in my butt, on my bike, in my bike, ha, huh, on my bike, <laughs> this whole pathway is mine. Where, as within the car, yes, it's still all mine, but you don't have as much room to maneuver as you do on the bike compared to the car. A lot of my practice that has been, has been mostly about parking when it comes to what I really need to work on. I've been working on parallel parking, what they call is curbside parking, where you pull up to the curb and then park instead of front end instead of doing the back end. That has been, it has all been very interesting experiences for me. Like some of you said on the comments, there's, you know, I can use boxes and stuff like that and get used to it. I have been getting better at it. I have been getting better at it. Um, no, I have been getting better at it. It is a process for me because, well, obviously parking the bike is a completely different scenario compared to it is with the car. I, I find that backing up is semi-similar just because you're still backing up in between two lines. Whether or not it's as smooth or not is a different story. I was actually really surprised because my instructor was actually letting me back up between, back up into a parking stall between two parked cars, which is a little iffy if anybody understands because, well, as a person who either doesn't have a park, <laughs> parking license, <laughs> parking license, that's cute, <laughs> a, a driver's license, it's, it's one of those things you have to really be careful about what you do when you're parking so the fact that my instructor was brave enough to let me park between two stalls between two parked cars and the stall i was actually really surprised about that because i didn't think i was doing all that great on it lo and behold i was able to do it which is good i don't do it as fast as i should but then again how am i supposed to know how fast i'm supposed to do it if i'm still in the process of figuring all that out. And the funny thing that I find it, on a car compared to on a motorcycle is that I have a higher tendency of seeing more of the people with their hands up and I think like their hands to their face holding their phone going hi, where <laughs> I think that on the motorcycle I'm more worried about what they're doing as moving rather than what's in their hands. So I found that as an interesting side note for myself. I'm not saying that that's a difference. I mean, I'm sure there's people out there that are very skilled with their driving and their motorcycling that they, well, riding, their motorcycling, that, <laughs> that they, uh, they get it, right? I mean, they can see a lot more. I can see a lot more than I used to be able to see, I know that. But with the parallel parking, I, I know that I'll get, I'm getting, slowly getting the maneuvers down. It's the eh, 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 eh. <laughs> It's really easy to do with my hand, it's a lot harder to do with the car. And I'm trying to slow it down. But I mean, the funny thing is, is my teacher has these two little uh, cars that he has that are in, that he uses to instruct with. And it's really cute because he's showing me, okay, so, when 
you're doing this maneuver for backing up into a parking stall as an example you're going halfway through the license plate and then you're doing and he goes through all this stuff where he's showing me exactly how it works with this little toy car it's completely obviously different when you're doing it in a real car plus there's the whole getting feel for the pedals i not as smooth as i would like to be but i'm smooth enough that he's he's not complaining too much it's more along the lines of okay you can be a little smoother on that but it's not like you have to be smoother on that. I don't know if that makes sense to what I'm trying to say. That is what I'm trying to say. Like I said, this week I have a night drive coming up and then I have one more lesson before I go for my road test. Now he was nice and said to me because I had one day where I had a few hiccups and he did say the next day that he was a little bit worried about me. But like he said, if I drive like I did on the day after my hiccup day, he goes, I should have no problem getting my license. So now, of course, Mr. K and myself have been going around and used car shopping because I mean, I don't want to go into a new car. And it's really valid reason why I don't want to, which is just because I felt bad when I laid over my little Ninja 300 because she's brand new and I ended up getting a scratch on her. And how much worse would I feel with a car? Because I mean, at, at least with the bike, you know, I can wrap it, I can hide it. The wrap doesn't cost too much because it's a small vehicle. Where with a car, you wrap it, you hide it. Uh, it's well first of all you need skill because you can't just wrap one area second of all it's not easy to do doing it on doing it on a major vehicle is a lot harder than it would be doing it on a small motorcycle as an example i luckily i didn't do too much damage but at the same time i don't want to get to it where it's a new car and then i'm going to be like Oh my god it's so pretty it's so this it's so that she's gonna be named this and then scratch so i am looking for a used car mr k of course is helping me because he knows what kind of things to listen for what to look for uh i think i've only ever gone new car shopping with mr k before this so going used car shopping is definitely different because you're looking for completely different items than you are with a new car because with the used car you have more finicky things I guess and you have to worry about whether or not the car was in an accident or or what kind of accident it was in I mean little cosmetic scratches and stuff like that I don't really mind because I want to use this car just for the sake of learning how to drive and improve my skills sort of like i've been doing with the ninja 300 but with the ninja 300 i don't really feel any urge to upgrade her yet but with the car i probably will feel the urge to upgrade because it's a car you know you want certain little luxuries that you're not going to get in a used car necessarily you could depending on what the person had before they traded in and stuff like that and of course <laughs> looking at dealerships they kind of look at you a little bit funny when you come with a tesla <laughs> and it will be really nice for me to have the n on both of my vehicles and then because in british columbia we have to go through a graduated system so you go learner novice and then you get your full license so for me it would be really nice to have both my ends and then hopefully i can get rid of them at the same time for off the novice to the full driver's license and the full motorcycle license that is my dream that is where i'm sitting at right now hopefully my instructor's positivity is not lost on me i don't see why it would be but you have to remember uh, you judge yourself harder than anybody else will judge you so just because you feel like you're not strong at something doesn't mean you're not strong at something. Please don't forget to love, ride, and explore. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like, comment. And until next time, 
Ride safe, drive safe, stay off your phone. Ta-ta? Yes, ta-ta.